Hi, my name is Dr. Brandon hayes Latin, and I'm Livestrong Senior Medical Advisor. I'm here today to talk about prostate cancer, which has been in the news a lot lately. Um, first, there was a series of recommendations that were changed last week about PSA testing, and you can go on Livestrong's blog to read some of our questions and answers about that. But prostate cancer is in the news again um, because of a large study that looked at the role of both vitamin E and another vitamin called selenium in the potential to protect men against prostate cancer. It turns out that in the best study ever done in this question, that taking vitamin E and or selenium do not help prevent prostate cancer, and in fact, um, taking vitamin E alone may slightly increase the risk. So I'd like to take a few minutes just to talk about vitamin E and selenium and prostate cancer. So first of all, why would we care so much about prostate cancer. Well, prostate cancer is a hugely important problem uh, in the United States and across the world. There's about, well, there's over 200,000 cases of prostate cancer diagnosed in the U.S. each year. Uh, there are over 30,000 men who die of prostate cancer every year. The lifetime rate of getting prostate cancer for a man is one in six. Uh, so prostate cancer is a major problem, and preventing prostate cancer is and remains a major goal. Um, what about vitamins like vitamin E or selenium? So it turns out that there's some preliminary science, particularly for vitamin E, that would suggest that maybe vitamin E could help uh, protect against prostate cancer. And there have been some other studies where vitamin E or selenium was used to try to prevent cancer. Um, and in those studies, one looking at lung cancer and one looking at skin cancer, it was not protective. But as a side analysis, when they looked at other cancers, there was a suggestion that maybe there was some protection for prostate cancer. So because of that, vitamin E, selenium, and prostate cancer have been linked in this big trial. Now if you Google prostate cancer and vitamin E, you get about 20 million hits. So how do you take all of the information that's out there about vitamin E and prostate cancer and determine which ones to listen to? Well, it turns out that the study that was just released is the best information. This is our best attempt at really answering the question. It was designed specifically to answer what's the role of these vitamins in prostate cancer. Um, it was a community standard, population-based, randomized, blinded study, and it was very large. There were about 35,000 men that participated. If we're going to answer questions like this in science, this is the very best way to do it. So in this study, 35,000 men from the U.S., Canada, and Puerto Rico um, received standard of care for prostate, uh, which included uh, uh, what had been routine screening recommendations with PSA testing and digital rectal exams. They were all given a multivitamin that they could take or not take, but that vitamin did not have vitamin E or selenium in it. And then they were each given one of four options. They were either given vitamin E, they were either they were given selenium, they were given both, or they were given placebo. And both the patients and their doctors were blinded. They didn't know which pill they were taking. Uh, and they took this for a minimum of seven years, uh, all the while having regular uh, uh, screening for the uh, incidence of prostate cancer. And the primary endpoint for this study was how many men develop prostate cancer. The results. The simplest way to explain the results is if you took a look at a thousand men in each of those four categories and asked how many of the thousand got prostate cancer, in the baseline, the placebo group, it would have been 93. In the vitamin E group, it turns out it would have been 109. So vitamin E was not protective. In fact, if anything, there were more men on vitamin E who got diagnosed with, with prostate cancer. And if you look at the statistics, that was a statistically meaningful and, and significant increase in prostate cancer risk. If you look at the selenium group, uh, the number would have been 101 out of 1,000 men. And in the combination of both vitamin E and selenium, it was 97 out of 1,000 men. So how do we put all this together? What does this really mean? Well, I think it's very clear from this well-designed study that taking supplemental vitamin E for reduction of prostate cancer is not helpful. And in fact, it may be harmful based on this information. It's unclear exactly how harmful. There's not great biological explanation of why it would be harmful. 
if it was harmful, then you have to explain why vitamin E plus selenium it was not worse. Uh, maybe selenium is protective when combined. Those things get tough, but it's clear that vitamin E in and of itself is not helpful in protecting prost against prostate cancer. So overall, I think there's a couple messages. So first of all, um, you always need to be skeptical about health claims um, and look for this kind of science to help guide you in terms of what to take or what not to take that we know uh, might prevent cancer. But I think the bigger picture is this has been a frustrating week if you're a man uh, worried about prostate cancer. Um, you're getting new messages about how to prevent or how to screen for prostate cancer, and I think that can be really frustrating. If you're frustrated and you care about prostate cancer, the best thing you can do is to contribute to studies like this one. Uh, this is exactly how we take what we think we know or what we believe about prostate cancer risk or any cancer risk um, and how we translate it to what we really know and what we really don't know. And in this case, it's very clear that adding vitamin E in and of itself is not protective against prostate cancer.